Matthew, the seventh apostle, was chosen by Andrew. Matthew belonged to a family of tax gatherers or publicans, but was himself a customs collector in Capernaum, where he lived. He was 31 years old and married with four children when he joined the Apostolic Corps. He was a man of moderate wealth, the only one of any means belonging to the Apostolic Corps. He was a good businessman, a good social mixer and was gifted with the ability to make friends and to get along smoothly with a great variety of people. Andrew appointed Matthew the financial representative of the apostles. He of course had to be absent from many of the most precious seasons of instruction as it was his duty to keep the treasury replenished. He was one of the apostles who made extensive notes on the sayings of Jesus, and these notes were used as the basis of Isidore's subsequent narrative of the sayings and doings of Jesus, which has become known as the Gospel according to Matthew. When the persecutions caused the believers to forsake Jerusalem, Matthew journeyed north, preaching the Gospel of the Kingdom and baptizing believers and it was in Thrace at Lacimachia that certain unbelieving Jews conspired with the Roman soldiers to encompass his death. The Arantia Book, Paper 139, Section 7, Paragraph 1.